It's January 11th, 2014 at 434 in the afternoon. Got my old 1997-98 Optima tub. It's turned off right now. But I've got it hooked up for a heat exchanger and gas water heating. Heated, heated water via gas heating. Basically, this is the temperature of the tub water as it comes out after being heated. This is the temperature of the water that's going to go in. Once I turn on the pump, it's actually going to go up a little bit more than that, probably up to about 120. If we go over here, inside the barn, you see the heart of the operation is a big old Bradford White 75 gallon, 76,000 BTU per hour uh, heater that has these two side bungs on it that are made for radiant heating for floors. So this is actually also not reading correctly because I haven't turned the pump on. Come on, come on, there we go. Once that pump starts sucking hot water out of here, it's gonna go up even more. It's gonna pump the water down out to the spa. The cold water's gonna come back in through here. I got an expansion tank just for safety purposes. The system is closed, as you can see there and there like it's closed up so there's no water circulating out anywhere but there is water coming in from my well and there's a check valve there that makes sure the water doesn't flow back in that direction and that's what keeps pressure here on the system right now it's at about 60. So the well can cycle up as high as 70 psi here's the way it's hooked up over here this relay right here is a relay that actually kicks on with a 220 volt signal. Now that is the signal that basically tells the old spas heater, which is this thing, this black thing, to start heating. Normally it gets 110 on this side, 110 on this side at all times, but they're out of phase from each other. What happens is that when you, and when you try to measure across here and here, you won't get anything. But when you measure across each one of these in ground, you'll get 110. The reason why, they're out of phase. The relay basically just switches them to be in phase and then suddenly you have 220 across these two terminals. Well, so I bought a switch that basically just says, I see 220, I'm gonna switch on. And it turns on, starts pumping, 110 volts tells that guy to go. So now this is my heater. Does that make sense? So, let's give it a try. We're going to turn the spa on and see how long it takes for it to heat it up. I just turned it on. It's taking a second to figure out what temperature it really is. That's probably some really cold 60 degree water. What does it say down here? It's about 61, 62 degrees, right? Today. There we go. So, that's in economy mode. That's good. Let's go ahead and bump up the temperature to 103. And it should think about what's going on here and in just a second or two it should say you know I think what I really need to do is turn on a cycle to get the temperature going no I think I know I know what I need to do I'm going to put it in standard mode there we go standard mode that's right that turns on the auxiliary pump the temperature thing says oh I need heat it turns 220 volts which hits this little relay which then sends 110 over to that it pumps hot water out of this. Make sure it's running. Oh yeah, it's running. So, that's the temperature of the water that's going out. Just about 120. It's going down through this red hose. And let's see what we got over here. We're gonna have some heat loss because I haven't had a chance to insulate these yet. So let's see what we get over here. It's almost 120. And then this is gonna be hot water coming out actually. So this, what happens is the water needs to pump through here, up through there, and then out of here. 5, 12 p.m. We've already got the water coming out of the heat exchanger to the spa. You can't really see it very well, but it's up to 78 degrees or so. And I got this thing cooking along at about 130 degrees now. I turned it up just to sort of make it more efficient. Spa temperature 67. And that's what, after 45 minutes, 40 minutes? Okay, so it's 11.06, and the spa is up to 101 degrees. And I will admit it, I turned up the heat on the actual water heater to 140, whatever was the highest setting. It, it's at about 140, 245 or so at the actual heater. 
and um, out at the spa, depending on whether the heater is on or whether it's off, um, it can be as high as about 141. Um, I also figured out that, I mean, I knew I needed to insulate the hoses, but I had them completely uninsulated just for this test. And the moment that I actually just threw some crappy half inch, you know, polyurethane foam, you know, type uh, insulation on them, the temperature went up almost 10 degrees out at the spa, which was really a win. So I know I need to really concentrate on insulation tomorrow. Today, and the system's been running overnight, and what do we got? Hotter than three degrees. Now I did need to put it into standard mode in order to get it to do that. I'm gonna put it back into economy mode now and see if it can survive. Basically what it will do is it'll only heat it up if during, during a filter cycle. So those only happen once every six hours. Now it's not gonna stay 103 all day, it's gonna drop down. But the point is that uh, then the next time it does a filter cycle, it uh, is gonna turn that motor on and, and heat things back up again.